Hello, in this video we are going to talk about font styles. This is a feature that is available in all tiers of Chroma. I'm using Chroma Inspire here. In our text tool, we can type out what we would like and we can select any of our preloaded fonts or even a true type font. When I select my font, I can then go in to edit the text. I can edit the spacing by adding more space in between each letters. I can, add, I can change the density. I can set it very low. I can even change the underlay. So after we have all of our settings set, I can even change the push-pull compensation. and I can set the size. Once we have our font exactly how we would like it, we can save this as a style. And what saving as a style will do is save all of the settings that I changed. The spacing is 10%, the density is 0.3, my underlay is a contour underlay, and I did add some pull compensation value of 120%. When I click the small button to the left of apply, I can save as a new style. Name your style, press OK, and then click apply. Now, if I were to go and type out anything else, I can easily click on the small three dot button next to apply and choose my style. Then we can see that immediately all of the settings are there. The spacing is set to 10%, the density is 0.3, the underlay is a contour, and my pull compensation is 120. If I were to switch to a different text, it has different settings unless I change the style. If I go back to change it to the style, it reverts back to the specific font that I chose. You can set up styles for, say, 3D puff designs. If I were to select a 3D puff style, I can edit the density, set it very low. I can edit the underlay to be a center line with a large stitch length. And I can choose this setting To apply the next time I want to use that font style. And now we can see that I have the density set to 0.2, the underlay is a center line, I changed the stitch length, and even the size is larger. Thank you for watching and drop us a comment below.